J Line Cider here. Welcome to my channel. Today's tip of the day is tip of the day number one, and we're going to start at the beginning. And today's tip of the day is fish where there are fish. Now that seems pretty basic, but you need to start with the basics. This time of year, which is summer, we're in mid July right now, the snook are in the inlets and passes spawning. So that's a sure place to try. Sometimes they're near the rocks. Sometimes they're out deeper in the channel. They do have their favorite spots depending on the tide and depending on the inlet. Look for boats fishing them. Look for people fishing them off the jetties. And just look for current breaks. Look for areas that I'm going to depict here for you in some of these pictures and some of these major East Coast inlets. Now the same strategy will apply to the West Coast, although I don't really fish the West Coast. You're going to want to fish the jetties, the tips of the jetties, and anywhere where there's an unusual current break. Now the snook, in addition to spawning, are there with the tons of uh, white bait, greenies, pilchards, whatever happens to be coming through. And they're also there. And they're waiting for the opportunity to attack. And sometimes they attack with uh, the whole school attacking the school of bait all at the same time. And sometimes they do this in flurries. Sometimes they'll just be one snook at a time attacking the, the bait fish. But your best chances are to fish early in the morning and late right before the sun goes down and even at night but you can this time of year catch snook in the middle of the daytime if you're using live bait now the first inlet i'm going to discuss is the sebastian inlet and then i'm going to work my way south from there now i'm no expert in sebastian inland there's plenty of people that are but Sebastian is one of the most famous inlets for holding tens of thousands of snook, especially in the summertime. Sebastian Inlet is also famous for having lots of snags. So be prepared, bring plenty of gear. You're going to break off your hooks. You're going to break off your lures. You're going to lose fish to sharks, uh, goliath groupers, and all other things. Now, I pointed some arrows to some of the spots where I've seen other people catch snook, and I've caught a few there myself. Um, but you're going to have to explore around. One day they're on the tip of the north jetty. One day they're on the tip of the south jetty. They move all around. They don't sit there and wait to get pounded by anglers all day and all night. So you got to be a little bit smart. you got to move around and see where they're being caught. The next inlet south from Sebastian is Fort Pierce Inlet. Fort Pierce has some huge uh, snook as well, especially this time of year. You can catch them on the jetties, on the tip of the jetties. But I think the most famous part of the um, Fort Pierce Inlet for fishing is the south jetty in Jetty Park. So you can park there, you can walk out to the tip, or you can walk out to the little spur that comes out down toward the south and you can catch plenty of snook there. Again, it's a live bait thing unless you're fishing at night. So be prepared, bring some croakers, bring some pinfish, or catch, catch your own right there around the jetties. Another great inlet is the St. Lucie Inlet. A lot of people talk about the hole in the wall on the south end. There's also the detached jetty that has snook on the front side and the back side, depending on which way the tide's moving. And then along the north side, there's plenty of spots um, along those docks and around the north point. So um, that's another um, area where you want to have live bait. If you're in a boat, you can drift. Um, if you're on the beach, you're going to have to walk a long way to get to these spots, but you can do it. Um, you just want to carry not too much gear, um, especially if you come on, on the south side there. you got a long walk. The next end up moving south is the Jupiter Inlet. Jupiter Inlet might be the most famous for having the biggest snook and the most snook in the summertime. At least it's the most heavily fished by 
um, professional captains and also recreational anglers, especially in the summertime. Uh, croakers seem to get the biggest ones, but um, they can be caught on lures if in low light conditions early in the morning and late um, at night or at dusk. Um, so you're going to again want to fish the tips of the jetty. A lot of the docks on the north side um, also hold fish, and that's where a lot of the professional captains fish, especially if it's too rough to go out the inlet itself. Anyway, you ought to make a trip to the Jupiter Inlet, and try it out, and see what uh, what's happening over there. One of the best inlets in Florida. Moving south after Jupiter, you got the Palm Beach Inlet. Um, Palm Beach, nobody really talks about it, but there are a lot of snook in Palm Beach Inlet, um, especially on the south jetty. It used to be a real hot spot, uh, especially during the mullet run. Um, it's kind of hard to fish um, by land, but by boat you can get to it and you fish the tips of the north of the south jetty and also the drop off in the rocks um, along the south side. Um, it's a really good spot. Um, got a long, long walk if you're going to go um, walking up to the south tip, but uh, it can be done and the north tip can be done also. You just got to learn each of these inlets and learn when to fish them, learn what's the best bait, and learn the little spots within the spots. Next moving south is Boynton Inlet. Uh, Boynton Inlet's uh, got a lot of current and is really rough, so fishing it by boat is really not an option, except for your, if you want to fish the outside if it's calm. Um, if you want to fish on the inside, uh, you can do it on the north side or the south side, seems like most people prefer the north side in the bend and around the tip area. Again, it's mostly a live bait uh, situation. I have fished um, in the parking lot on the, on the uh, intercoastal side and caught some snook and a surprise Kubera snapper as a bycatch. And, and that certainly was a, a lucky catch. But anyway, you gotta try the Boynton Inlet if you're close by. And, and learn it because there's snook there uh, year round, especially since it's a, a southern inlet. It's going to have snook all year long, so just got to figure it out. Next is the Boca Inlet. Boca Inlet um, has lots of snook in it, uh, relatively speaking. Nothing like Sebastian or um, or further north at uh, Port St. Lucie or St. Lucie Inlet, but. You know, it does have some snook, um, probably in the hundreds, not the thousands. Uh, you can see them sometimes um, if it's calm and the water's clear, but it is a little treacherous to fish by boat. Um, you're going to want to try to fish off the jetties um, or along the park on the south side. Uh, it's a really long walk if you want to fish uh, off the north jetty um, to get down to there. You can also fish around the bridge in some spots, although that's kind of limited. But there are snook in there. You just have to learn how to fish them. Next, uh, moving further south from Boca is Hillsborough Inlet. Uh, Hillsborough Inlet does have snook in it. Um, not, too people, not too many people know about Hillsborough Inlet as being a snook hotspot, but it's one of the places I used to fish when I was down there. Um, you can fish the bridge, you can fish uh, the jetty, especially the north jetty or the south jetty. Um, there's schools of snook in there all summer long and all year long for that matter. Um, you just got to learn how to fish them, when to fish them, and the best tide. Next is Port Everglades. Port Everglades is a, is a good inlet as well. It's very deep. It's got a lot of big boats running through it and ships. Uh, so you got to be kind of careful if you're fishing in a boat. But it can be done. Just stay out of the way of the cruise ships and the and the freighters. Um, the tips of the jetty are good. All the all the jetties are good. And the drop offs um, where it goes from like ten feet to fifty feet down to the bottom uh, are all good spots to try. And then you can try inside the port as well if you're in a boat. Um, don't try that if you're on foot though. Uh, but it is a good 
inlet to try. Um, and this time of year, there's plenty of snook to be caught in uh, Port Everglades. Next is Hallover Inlet. Hallover also has got a ripping current, kind of like Sebastian. So it's really difficult to fish um, from boat or also from land. Uh, you're going to have to use a lot of weight and or not fish in the main current. Actually, fishing out of the current on the south jetty is a good option. And uh, the fish will be sitting in uh, close to where the main current is, but not actually in the current waiting for um, bait fish to be swept either in on the incoming tide or out on the outgoing tide. You can also try on some of the slower tides to fish near the bridge if you have a boat, um, but it's kind of tricky there. I would I'd definitely not uh, fish anything other than like a slack tide until the first hour of the outgoing or the first hour of the incoming, but plenty of snook to be caught even though you're in a major metropolitan area of near downtown Miami. And last but not least is government cut. It's been a long time since I caught any fish out of government cut, but from what I hear, they're still there. Um, you're going to want to try either the pier off of government cut on the south uh, side, or excuse me, north side, south beach, um, or if you get access to a boat, again, you're going to have to watch the cruise ships and the tugboats and all the crazy people running through the inlet, but it can be done to stay out of the way of all the crazy people flying through the inlet. Um, but again, you want to try the jetties, the drop-offs and docks inside, as well as the bridge over to South Beach. Thanks for watching this video. Um, please like, subscribe, and continue to watch my channel. I have plenty of other helpful information that I'm gonna be developing, and I'm gonna have plenty more tips of the day. So stay tuned for all those tips. You're only gonna get that information if you subscribe. Thanks again, Jay Linesider.